Hello, my friends. Today, I thought I would do something different and show you this quilt project that I have been working on for a couple months now, I think. This is a technique called English paper piecing. So what you do is you, so you choose a shape. And so in this case, I'm using hexagons, which are the most popular shape, I think, for English paper piecing. So you take this card in, in, that's cut into the shape and the traditional way of fitting the fabric to the shape is to uh, baste but I'm with, with needle and thread, but I'm using uh, glue because it's faster. So I have accumulated a lot of hexagons and different fabrics that please me and I have been sewing them into pairs and so I'm just going to sit here and chat with you as I am sewing another pair of hexagons together and I'm doing this because I want to talk about cultivating ambitions outside of one's chosen creative profession. Because I think that, well, this has certainly been true in my case, that cultivating an ambition that has nothing to do with your professional ambitions, so this isn't just for creative folks, this is for anyone, it's so good for your mental health, right? So, you know, for someone else, it could be, you know, training to run uh, a 5K or a longer run race. Uh, it could be a musical. It could be, you know, uh, teaching yourself how to play one of your favorite I don't know, grunge songs from the 90s, you know, on a on on your guitar that up till now hasn't gotten a whole lot of use. Whatever it is, if it's completely separate from your professional ambitions and if it's something that is completely within your control to achieve, quote unquote achieve, it adds this really rich dimension to your life so that you're not obsessed to the point of, to an unhealthy degree with your professional ambition. So for me, it has been, for a long time, it's been sewing and knitting. And the, here's the thing about this project, right? This is, this is very, very slow sewing. I don't know that I'm gonna be using, I think the only time that I will be breaking out my sewing machine to work on this project is on the binding when it's all done. And several dear ones in my life who are not crafters have my, my, my grandfather and my former partner, still dear friend Steve, um, you know, have both said to me at different times in my life, why? Are you working on this creative project that's gonna take you forever? Why would you do that? My, my grandfather was like, why are you using such tiny yarn and needles? That's gonna take you forever. And if you don't craft, you don't understand how satisfying it is just to sit here and stitch and I know that it's gonna take a long time. This is gonna, probably gonna take longer than it would take me to write a novel. And 
that's part of the practice for me is slowing down, taking pleasure in each tiny stitch, the pleasure of pairing fabrics, choosing fabrics and pairing fabrics, and having this weird new ambition, morbid ambition, and you know what, I'm gonna own it, of, I've pictured myself, um, you know, in my 90s, cozying up under this quilt and, you know, with a cup of, cup of tea on a cold winter's night, you know, cozying up to read a novel by someone who hasn't been born yet. And that, that weird daydream, that weird like ambition, if we can call it that, it's very satisfying to me and enjoyable and yes, morbid, I guess. But I also, I also like the idea of um, making a gift of my time and energy and attention to my future self. I mean, hopefully it won't take me till I'm 90 to finish this quilt, it will not. <laughs> there are 823 hexagons that are gonna go into this quilt. 823, I've done the math. So my invitation to you is to think about what in your life gives you pleasure. It doesn't have to be something creative in a traditional sense. I don't know, maybe it's baking. Baking is very, is obviously creative. Whatever it is, like make a list. Make a list of the activities, the practices that make you feel really satisfied. And these should be things that you're not gonna push yourself to try to achieve. They are things maybe just one thing that is totally within your control. It is completely within my control to finish, finish this quilt and not give it away. And see how that feels to toggle, to switch from feeling stressed and stressed about the uncertainty of whatever is or isn't going on in your creative career right now. And to just enjoy this extracurricular. And see what effect that has on your primary, how you feel when you sit down to your, your primary creative practice. I feel totally blissed out right now. You can see I've got, I've got chains and then I'm gonna line up the chains. And um, oh, it's just, I know it's not for everyone, but I, I love this practice. And I encourage you to find something that brings you as much pleasure and satisfaction as hand sewing and quilting gives to me. So I hope that you have a wonderful day. I hope that this provided a small measure of inspiration at least. And let me know if you have any thoughts, questions, comments. I don't have a question, I mean, I don't have a question to answer next week. So that would be helpful if you wanted to ask a question that I could riff on next week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you next week.